Okay, I've uh, engaged the autopilot on the expert mode. Uh, I tried it once already at a lower altitude, and when I want to change the indicated airspeed with the uh, knob, no matter which way I turned the knob, it only went higher in indicated airspeed. So that's not so good. <laughs> so right now I'm uh, back into the expert mode. Um, I'm going to make a slight change here. Instead, I'm going to use the nose up, nose down buttons instead of the uh, indicated airspeed, and that will change my indicated airspeed bug to a different number. So I'm going to go to a uh, higher number by five knots and see what that does. Chest eight, box drop, box drop, make right, close drop. Regular traffic, foot three, box drop, box drop. She's pitching over, trying to meet the 120 knots now. See if she holds that. I get a uh, trim nose down temporarily. I'm just going to ignore that for a short time. So it overshot by about a half a knot. Went back. Got 120, now 119 and a half. I'm back to 120, so it seems to be holding that pretty good and we're in a steady descent now because of the, the uh, nose down that I asked for. So that worked out pretty well. We still get a little bit of wandering here but it's not too bad. I'm going to let it descend like this for a little while and then I'm going to bring it back to 115. Harding. Uh, Harding. See what it says. With uh, Lima. Five star one, Brainerd Tower, Roger through the area approved, altimeter 304. Uh, and I just put it back to 115, and the nose should come back up a little bit. Slow the airplane down. We're actually going to be a little bit of a climb temporarily until we get there, and now he should pitch back over. There we go. So we're within a knot, one knot of the intended value, so that's not bad. I think that's uh, this whole flow chart is now done. I can move to the next one.